Welcome to Wallatopia. If you've been trying to figure out the best wallet for your needs, go to our new site, explore.wallatopia.info. It's interactive, it has drill down filters, all kinds of things that'll help you find the wallet you want next. Now we've had a lot of requests for this particular wallet. This is the Ezra Arthur Cash Fold Deluxe Wallet. So let's get into it. Ezra Arthur has come with a wonderful gold embossed raised letter box. It's a neat little box loop here to hold things in place. Open this up. Tissue paper, another layer. Layers are important. It demonstrates uh, effort. And we have a cotton pad here. And here we go. A cash fold deluxe wall. This is the whiskey color. Seems a lot lighter on their website than what we have here, but no matter. It is a tri-fold and it is a cash fold, they say. It is a cash wrap, but it also can hold cards. Let's take a look at this sewing here really quickly. Kind of looks like a, a whip sew, or a whip stitch, I should say. Let's see here. Really intriguing. Great texture on that. Looks really good. The Ezra Arthur stamp here. And on the back and the bottom also has their stamp. Oh man, feels good too. Seems like just the right weight of leather. So, quite nice. Now onto the feature review of the Ezra Arthur Cash Fold Deluxe Wallet. As a cash wrap and a tri-fold, it just opens right up. So, folded, see this? Open up. And what we experience is uh, the space necessary for cash to lay and fold. So what we have at the bottom here is really the contact point where cash is stored. It slides in here and it is also the place where you put cards. Cards do belong in here. It is part of the capacity and features of this particular wallet. And from there, cards, cash, pushed, stored here, this bottom pocket slot, at which point it folds, folds, and you have your wallet. And that is a quick review of the Ezra Arthur Cash Fold Deluxe Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. They say this can hold a ton of cards, so I'm gonna put a whole lot more in there. Okay, that was kind of fun. I put 19 slips of cash in here, 19 notes, and I have uh, seven cards in there. Uh, it says it can hold up to eight or 15 cards. And there's no, uh, there's no indication of, of the minimum or maximum, they say, for, for notes. But there you go. I mean, we've got, holy moly, look at all that. 19 slips of cash in there. And it uh, performs just fine. Now, of course, it does get fat, but and of course, it doesn't close as well. It just kind of flips open right now. But it would adjust to that always. I mean, leather will do that to you. Now, designed and made in the United States, this is from a one-piece of Horween Chrome Excel Veg Tan Leather. And if you're not familiar with the Chrome Excel line from Horween, it is a veg tan leather, but it does incorporate some chrome tanning concepts in the beginning of the process. But it still ends up with, with a, uh, oh man, yeah, the great smell. Man, it's still, still a really good smell. Now this wallet sits as a combination between the Ezra Arthur's Cash Fold and the number two wallet. Let's take a look here. As you can see, I just, I just put a ton of cash in here. Oh, pull that out. We've got seven cards in here. Let's take a look. We've got this nicely painted edge all around the leather here. Nice weight, not too thick uh, to add the cash and cards, but it's not so thin that it doesn't work either. I really like the sewing here. Like I said, I think it's a whip stitch that we see here. 
the problem though is that if this thread gets broken, it will unravel if I'm familiar with the stitch. I might not be, but it, it uh, definitely isn't a saddle stitch. And so somebody could educate me on this particular stitch here, but uh, I would have concerns that if it broke, it would come unraveled. But otherwise, it's just a nice looking flesh side, feels good, nice uh, patina to it already. And on the exterior, again, it's just beautiful. And it's it seems flimsy, but it's not. It is just the right weight. The pricing on this is $100. A little steep. It is made in the United States. Anyway, as the leather breaks in, it will handle any reasonable amount of cash and cash that may be even unreasonable in, in the amount. But it did handle all the currencies. You saw that. No issues there. The trifold will also break in, so it will lay flat once uh, it breaks into the amount of cash and cards you usually carry. So it really isn't a big problem. From a measurement perspective, it's four by 2.75 by 0.18, and it weighs 25 grams. They do have a lifetime warranty on the stitching, which is perfect as that would be the only part of this wallet that really could fail because it's one piece of leather. Otherwise, I really quite like this, even though it's very simple, um, I, I do like this. And if you carry lots of cash, I think this is a good one for you. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, Price of two, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 38 out of 50. Everybody talks about smashing that like button. Just press it for me. That would be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Go to Wallatopia.info. You can register there and subscribe. And you really never thought you'd be watching a review on wallets. You just did. And uh, you made it to the end. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.